Hi guys, rainy day today, you can probably hear. Just been up in the loft looking for something for one of my other little projects. And uh, I brought these three down. Didn't intend to, but I thought I'd bring them down. I do have some others somewhere. But as you can see, they're all Lightning McQueens. That one is one that I've converted to full hobby grade. Uh, which is quite fun. There'll be a link in the video description to that one. That one I recovered from a recycling centre and had to repair some uh, wires in it and that. doesn't do a lot. Uh, three wheels at the front. It has, I can't remember if it's got a motor in the back or not. runs on two AA batteries and it has sound effects. So switch it on. So I don't think it has a motor in it. It is just sound effects. Oh, and the eyes move. Okay. And then the third one is this one, which is ordinary 27 megahertz. But I noticed when I picked it up, it looks like the batteries have been leaking. So we're going to have to tidy that up before we can give it a run. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty gross to be honest. So we'll deal with that in a minute. Hi guys, I seem to be doing a bit of a series using these 14500 lithium ion batteries. Uh, 14 millimeter diameter and 50 millimeter length. The other day I said 500 because obviously 14 500 rolls off the tongue, but it's 50 millimeter length, two inches, ordinary double A size. Anyway, I was going to demonstrate in this car. In fact, there was a couple that I was going to demonstrate it in. But when I took the battery box off this one, you can see these are all corroded and horrible. So I have to see if we can replace them. And some of them should pop out quite easily. But some of them I might have to take the cover off to get to the other side of them. This is an interesting little battery box because clearly it's designed to take up to six of them. And this is a, a dummy. So it could have another two in there if you wanted. Um, it takes four, which gives us a bit of a problem when it comes to using one of these. Four would be six volts, four double A's. That's 3.7. Call it four when it's freshly charged. So you want one and a half of these to give you six volts. If you put two of them in there, you're actually going to be giving it nearer eight volts. So there's a good chance that you'll actually kill this one. The ones that I demonstrated already, one had just three in it. So three times one and a half is four and a half volts. One of them is a good swap for four and a half volts. It'll work okay. And the other one had five. Five times one and a half, seven and a half volts. Two of those, 3.7 volts. Two of them, 7.4 volts. Or as I keep saying, fully charged, eight volts. So two, five, one, three. But this one wants six volts. Do we take the risk and run it? at 8 volts and see if we actually kill it. That's what might happen. I think that's all I'm really saying. I don't 
think they're going to pop out easily. I'm going to have to take the cover off. Uh, keep the table cloth clean. You could run it with a bigger battery and use a, a buck converter, a little electronic module that will drop the voltage back down again. You can buy sort of a dozen of them or a pack of ten of them for a couple of quid. And they're very small little modules, so that might be an option. Run it with two of those and a buck converter to drop it down to 6 volts instead of seven and a half, uh, well, instead of 8. I keep saying these are 1.5 volts. Um, if they're nickel metal hydride, they're only 1.2 volts and 1.3 when they're freshly charged. These, if you get them straight out of the pack when they're brand new, you'll find they are more than 1.5 volts. So it's all a bit, little bit um, open for debate if that's what sort of thing that you want to do. Oh, looks like I've got to undo them. So what do they do? Put the front on somehow. Okay. We need to get down to the battery tanks. Probably best to take the receiver off. I think this one might um, have sound effects. In fact, thinking back, I think I did a video on it, trying to operate the sound effects um, manually by touching wires in the right place, because I don't have the original transmitter for this. Yeah, all this up here, that's the sound effects. So you've got the ordinary receiver board plus this add-on. Hmm. moved. That one doesn't want to move. I'll have to desolder them before I can move them anyway. Right, we'll have a little break. I'll get the soldering iron out, desolder those wires so we can flatten the tags off so we can push them up through out the way. Thanks for watching. 
If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.